Hey, it's Jay. From Plasma Channel to you, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Now, we've all been there, right? It's Christmas morning and you're going to open up a present underneath the tree. And what do you find? A three foot tall Tesla coil. Best Christmas ever. You want to use it right away because Tesla coils are awesome. But your gut instinct tells you, uh, might not be the safest thing to use indoors, especially next to the tree. But you go, life is short. I want to use it right away. So what happens? Does the tree survive the 250,000 volts from the coil? Or will the arcs ignite the tree's flammable pine sap and the house catches fire? There's really only one way to find out. It's the most iconic tree of the year, the Christmas tree. We call them festive, but firefighters probably call them ground zero. That looks painful. Their flammable pine sap plays a big hand in this. Okay, the coil puts out a quarter of a million volts, but voltage isn't everything. Then again, these trees are known to burst into flames if you just give them too many stern glances. So which one do you think is going to win? Sappy versus Zappy. Tree versus Tesla coil. Pause the video now, comment down below, and I can't wait to read your responses. And in three, two, one. You can see the Christmas tinsel protects the tree. And actually in this freeze frame, you can see the path the electricity takes around it, which is cool. And a different angle, the tinsel is still protecting the tree. Except right here, you get small ignition, but it dies out. So let's go ahead and remove the tinsel and expose the tree. It's striking the branch, it ignites the branch, then it ignites all the sap on the way down to earth. Adios. Well, Tesla coil won. Let's talk a little bit of science about why that is. Tesla coils tend to produce what's called the skin effect, which is where electricity prefers to travel on the thin outer skin of a conductor as opposed to going through it. Well, the outside of a tree is its bark, and that bark is what contains the pine sap. Considering sparks technically run in the thousands of degrees and a Tesla coil pumps out hundreds of sparks a second, mine is about 120 a second, the pine tree stood little chance. Now don't try this yourself. It's best that I test this so that you don't have to. It's about as dumb as tasering yourself. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.